Okay, so we're in Utah's online library and we're going to take a look at the Gale Kids InfoBits, which is about halfway down here in the general reference collection. So what Gale is, as this is opening up, is a collection of academic articles and journals and books and all sorts of things that your students would want to use for research. And you can see when we land here on the page that there's a few things to take note of. First of all, Gale Kids does their sorting with these big pictures here that you can see. And then when you click on a topic, like animals, for instance, it's going to bring up more pictures and topics, you know, broken down into specific areas, in this case, mammals. And when we go to mammals, you can see that they've got all sorts of topics already set for you. And with any of the uh, speakers next to the words, that will play it for you Armadillos. so that you can hear that and know how to say that correctly. So one way of searching in Gale is just by clicking on any of these topics that they already have for you and looking through the pre-sorted material. But in a lot of cases we have certain things that we want to search for and so we can just type in whatever it is that we're searching for and uh, let's see what happens. We're going to type in the word dog, mainly because I'm seeing one right there. And you can see that there's things that come down in the search menu and I could say, oh, is it prairie dogs that I'm after or dogs or other different grammar um, things you can see here with dogs and dogma, dogmatic and so forth. So we'll just go to dogs. And this is what it pulls up. It says there's 113 books a biography, there's pictures, magazines, news. So there's a lot of stuff here in Gale that you could look at. Um, there's also an advanced search. When I go to advanced search, one of the really nice things here is I can look for keywords. I can look for publication dates um, before or after certain times, between certain times. I can look by document type. You know, is it a article? Is it an autobiography? Is it a blog entry? And so forth. So I can search just by document type. I can search by content. Again, books, magazines, news, pictures, so forth. Content level, basic, intermediate, and advanced. And then you can see that they have a Lexile reading. So depending on what grade level you teach, you're going to have a Lexile reading that's going to go with that grade level and you could say, you know what, well let's let's look at the 500 to 700. And then when it searches, in this case we're looking for dogs still, um, this actually maybe not. <laughs> let's type in dogs. Let's go to advanced search and we're going to type in dogs and we're going to do this with a Lexile count of 5 to 700 and we're going to search. Okay, so here we go. You can see we've got magazine articles, news, not as many things because our Lexile reading was up. So we're going to go to magazine articles and Night of the Howling Dogs. So let's take a look at what it what it looks like when you finally choose an article. So you can see here that we have a listen feature which is really nice especially which are with our younger or struggling readers you could have this read and it will play everything that's on the page. So your students can just hear it that way. Over here and then at the bottom of the page you'll notice that the URL is here and then this is everything is cited in MLA form at the bottom of every page in Gale when, you're, when you uh, have selected an article to look at. Over here on the right I have some other tools, a citation tool that would actually either put this in MLA or APA form and then you can export this really easy or you can just copy what's on here. I could just copy this um, and now I've got the URL and the uh, here's the URL right here. So I could copy the web page in case I want to go back and then when I want to copy the reference that's right there too. I can email this article, I can download it I can print, 
I can highlight things in here and um, I can save but the thing about save is that's only for the session that you're there however there's a really great way to save and that is if you sign they um, in Gale it has a Google integration so when I click sign in with that I'm gonna go to my account now it says I'm signed in so when I go to download here it can save this article into Google Drive for me and so I'm gonna download the article it's gonna go into my Google Drive and then I'll ha it'll have a folder that'll say uh, Gale Kids and then within that folder I can see the article if I make any highlights on that um, for instance I can highlight this in different colors maybe that's the part that I want to use in, and I can take notes it'll save that as well when I download it so that's a quick uh, overview of using Gale Kids InfoBits and uh, we just encourage you to get in there and try it out and look some things up and search and see what you can find and with that we will end this cast